evening. My name is Jim Van Dyke. Uh, my wife and I have been residents here in Westbrook Village for the last eight years. We've had a home. Uh, this will be our sixth year full time being here. Uh, I also have uh, a lot of thanks for the committee for putting this together, for the board members, for all their activity, for the staff. We have an incredibly uh, welcoming and friendly staff. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, members, I, I, I love our staff here. I have kind of a diverse background. After college, uh, Julie and I met uh, her senior year of college, and uh, we went into business. We moved to Palm Springs, California, a golf community, lived on a golf course, went to work for Merrill Lynch as a financial advisor there, and then also became uh, the Muni Bond Coordinator for Southern California, which basically I would help financial advisors put together uh, bond portfolios for high-end clients. Um, so diverse background. All that time I thought I should be in ministry, so went back to school, uh, then ended up going to seminary, uh, became a pastor, uh, giving up the financial background, uh, where Julie and I uh, served for 30 years as ministers. Um, our job uh, when we were hired by the denomination was to go in and take uh, existing churches that were going through a difficult time or had gone through uh, significant hardships and rebuild them, get them healthy again, get them restaffed, uh, get them working well again, and then go on and do it again. So we were basically the restarters to go in and fix things that were broken. Uh, and in doing that, I became divisional superintendent for Northern Colorado, then became district supervisor for all of uh, the Rocky Mountain District. Uh, then was elected to the board of directors for the denomination, which I served for 30 years, uh, of 147,000 churches in 150 different countries. So that was kind of uh, the background there. After 30 years of that, we thought uh, we're kind of ready to go on. I, I did ministry training. I was hired by uh, uh, Every Home for Christ to be their Caribbean leader to train all the islands there how to uh, mobilized, so worked with a lot of college students, worked with a lot of pastors, how to train uh, their congregations. So worked primarily helping people, training people, and working with volunteers. The reason I'd like to serve on the Westbrook uh, board is I love working with volunteers. Being a pastor for 30 years, you primarily work not only with staff and building staffs, but if you don't work with volunteers, you're going to die really quick. And so I really see that need being here. I was on uh, the committee for the Greens and Grounds uh, for a short time. Uh, felt like it could just be different. Uh, working with so many volunteers, we really thought, gosh, you know, we can get a lot more people involved, like Bob Youngblood, who has a whole uh, community of people here where they take care of every hole where people don't fix their divots. They don't repair their ball marks, and he has people that have adopted a hole. Maybe some of you serve on that. We've served on that for a couple of years and, and fixing things. And that's the type of thing that I think really ties the community together. If you have a piece of it, being a volunteer and helping serve, you take ownership. Not just being a member, but being a volunteer and helping an area that helps you take ownership and really appreciate the club more. And so would love to be part of that, love to help with that. Uh, when we retired uh, five years ago, we started real estate full-time. We couldn't just stay inactive. And the primary uh, target, our whole area, is here in Westbrook Village. So we buy and sell properties uh, extensively, have lots of clients that are here in Westbrook and love serving here and being part of the community. So we'd love to serve. We love the golf community, Julie and I, and looking forward to helping serve in any way we can. Thank you.